Welcome back friends. Today we're doing a little work on the John boat. In particular we're working with our Minn Kota Edge 45, our bow mounted trolling motor here that we selected for this. This has a foot control and we've got it in a recessed tray. Now one of the things I discovered about this is when we set it all up in this configuration just like you see here, if the trolling motor was pointed forward the heel was way down the bottom of the tray, toe, toe was pointed right up in the air. Can't have that, it's not very comfortable. So what I wanted was a neutral position for the foot control with the motor pointed that way. But as you can see, it's pointed that way. So how are we gonna solve it? Well, to tell you the truth, it's not hard to fix and even a moron can do it. And I'll prove that right now. The first thing is you have to remove the screws down here at the bottom. There's six of them. You're going to take the cover off of the head and it's going to expose all that complicated looking stuff right there. But it's really not going to be hard at all to do. What we're wanting to achieve is we want the motor pointed 180 degrees from where it is there with a neutral position on the foot control. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna get up here and we're gonna swap this thing and make it turn the other direction. And it's really not hard. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, if you don't wanna take your foot control out, or if it's up on the deck, it'll be a little easier for you, but I didn't wanna pull it out of this tray. So all I did was there's two screws holding in the cable strain relief, which is here and here. I took those screws out and it allowed me to access that big old Phillips head screw. I don't know if you can see it there, but that is gonna be your tension. It's right under here. Back that off about, uh, well, it's gonna be about, I think mine was 15 quarter turns is what it was. And that will allow the tension to be taken off of this cable so we can work up in the head. Now, as you can see, we have the tension off of this. All we need to do now is lift this up. Now you may want to grab a hold of your lower shaft now because what's going to happen is as soon as we pull this off, it's going to spin. And that's okay because you want it to spin. You can see this is splined. We want it to spin it in the direction that you want it to point and then get this back on. I'm off a tooth there. Yeah, that's about where I want it, right there. And then we're going to retension this cable back up. And then this is the indicator on your head. So we're going to end up pointing it this direction. We've got the motor pointed out of the bow, straight out the bow. And then we're going to put this in the way it came. And that's all you gotta do is put it back together and you'll be good to go. So let's get it retensioned and see how it works. Okay, we've got everything buttoned back up. We've got our foot control in a nice neutral position here in our tray, level on the deck. We have our directional indicator for the motor going straight out the front of the bow there and same thing. Oh, what a coincidence. It's pointing the same way too. Awesome. So let's give it a little test here push down on the heel yep nice and smooth and push on the toe perfect exactly what we wanted to do so it's pretty easy as I demonstrated to you even a moron can do it all you got to do is take the cover off the head there take the tension off the foot control and just lift up that spline Turn it the direction you want, put it back down, retention, and you're ready to go. Only takes about, well, I don't know, five, eight minutes, something like that. The only tools you need is going to be a Phillips head screwdriver. In my case, we needed a short one because our foot control was mounted in a recessed tray and we couldn't get to it. So there you have it, folks. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, give us one of these. Helps that old al algorithm they got out there 
in the YouTube world. And if you like our little goofy videos, hit the subscribe button. So until next time, you guys be safe, keep that life jacket handy, and we hope to see you out on the water. Adios.